and welcome to another episode of Woovar. In today's video I want to talk about a new service that was launched a couple of weeks ago in the AWS Submit in San Francisco called AWS Secret Manager. If you're interested in watching more content about serverless, about cloud computing, about engineer software practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started! <laughs> So I already talk about secret management and how to store secrets. I leave you the link. I was using the parameter store and I still own you a video on the more secure way of storing the secrets, but this is what I've been talking about. I'll leave you the card in the, in the description box as well. And there we talk about how to secure your secrets in the platform and not in your code. And this video goes in the same way. This new service is called AWS Secret Manager. And the idea of this service is a little bit more than the parameter store because it allows you to manage the service. That's why it's called uh, Secret Manager. And what it means to manage a secret, it means that you can create it, distribute it, store it, and rotate it. So they has a huge infrastructure built around rotation of secrets. How many times it happens that you connect the database to your code and you say, I will change the password every month or every six months or every year and years goes by and your password still the same because you are too lazy or things get in the way or you forget or you just change your project and the person behind you doesn't know it or the maintenance team doesn't know it or it just goes to a closet and things such as exist. So the idea of this service is to have a way that is automated the rotation of the password that is magically done. You just set up what is your when you want the password to be rotated, what is the algorithm that you are using to create a new password and how you are sharing it between the, the provider and the receiver and voila, it's done. So mostly the service now is built for RDS and you can connect with, the, for example, the database and it will do everything automatically and then it has to do also some rotation with other databases and also it has a rotation for APIs. So when you do the API rotation, you need to create your own rotation algorithm and that's something it's also possible. I imagine in the future they will expand this service to maybe other AWS services. So in this video, I want to show you just a bit of the service. We will navigate together in the console we are going to check what are the different options and then we are going to create a secret and use it in a Lambda using serverless framework. I will show you how to get that secret and how to use it. We are not going to do the rotation or anything like that, but if you're interested on me working out with RDS or the rotation or creating a rotation algorithm, just let me know in the comments and I can do a video for you later on. So let's go to the AWS console and the computer screen and get started. So the first thing we need to do is to log in to our AWS account. We log in with our credentials and then we go in the drop down of services. We look for AWS Secret Manager and this page will open. And there you can see some information about the service. It rotates secrets safely. You can manage access with fine grained permissions. You can audit and secure the secrets and you pay as you go there you find the documentation and other information and the pricing and then you can start a new secret so when you do a store a new secret this opens and you can follow the instructions to set up a secret so it has three options rds and then to connect to another database and then it has the api key if you have the rds then you just set up your username and password and this is a database in your AWS account. You just select it and it will do everything for you. I don't have any RDS configure here and this video is not about that. But if you want me to configure one for you and use it, just let me know in the comments below. The next one is use uh, credentials for other database, so no R RDS and same it are here and you can select which kind of database you want and then you put the information of that database and it will do the magic for you. And the last option that is the one that we are going to use is just basically an API key type of value, key value pair. And here we will just write test 
and I will write a secret. This is a secret. And this is the secret we are going to store. And you that can def um, select the encryption key. We are using the default encryption key, but you can pick another one. And there you just put a name, the secret. You can make anything you want. And then we have the description. It's good to put a description because sometimes they get all very confusing and you don't want to delete the wrong secret. And then if you click next, you can uh, configure the rotation and you can, by default, in this case, have it disabled. If you want to enable it, you can create your own Lambda function that will do the rotation for you. We are not going to do this in this video, but if you would like to see some rotation algorithms, let me know and I can make one for you. For now, we will keep the rotation disabled because this is recommended when your application is using this secret and you have not been updated to use the AWS Secret Manager. So we are going to use the most basic way to set up this because I just want to show you how to set up it from Lambda. And after you click next, then you will see the sample code in Java, JavaScript and Python. And that's the code we are going to use. So now we can go to our terminal and create a new serverless framework project. We are going to create it for Node and we are going to call it Secret Manager. We open it in our text editor and we just do a little changes. First change is we are going to use Node 8 because now it's available and I don't want to use Node 6 anymore. Now we are going to add an API gateway so we can test this thing from Postman that is easier and somebody can call this Lambda. And now in our Lambda we are going to create a new file called Secret Manager and we are just copy pasting the code that it comes from here. You can make this code prettier but I just want to show you how you can use it from the code that it comes from the help. So in here you have your code and it has the information for your secret where you can get it and it will create a new secret manager with that endpoint or region and then it will get the value that you specify. For that we will create just a method around it and put a console log to print this secret in the screen. This is not what we should do but this is a test. Eventually you will need to return this secret or do some magic with this secret or do something with it but don't display it in the console, that's not smart. I require that file and then I will create a method to call this and we pass a secret name and now we can call this from the handler and it will print in the screen the secret that is fetched from the secret manager. This is not the optimal way to use this service but I just want to show you how you can get this secret and you can figure out what is the best way for you to use it. And now we will do one more thing that is to give permissions to this Lambda to access this secret because the secret uh, manager has fine-grained permissions so you need to give permissions to the specific secret and for that we are just uncommenting the I am role statement and replacing with the right value so it will be allow and then the secret manager gets secret value and then we get the secret ARN when we save the secret you will see it there so you can just Put that in your I am role and deploy and then when this is ready we can test it. So I will speed this up until the deployment is completed. Now when the deployment is completed we will see the um, URL for this service so we can just put this in Postman and try it out and now the Lambda will be executed so the secret should be printed in the console. So we can check the logs of this function and we will see that the secret is printed in the console. Now if we go back to our AWS secret manager we can check that we have one secret and there we can see all the information from the secret. We can edit the secret, the description and the encryption key and we can also delete it. When you delete it, it doesn't delete automatically, it takes seven days so then you can retrieve the value. So if you don't remember what it is and you can edit the rotation and there you have the sample code just in case you need it again. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. And this is a very new service, so I hope it's useful for you. It was pretty easy and nice to configure and get working with serverless framework and the Lambda. And I hope you give good use for it. If you have any questions, comments or things you would like to see about this service or other services, just leave them in the comment box below. I always read your comments. So around here there are other videos from my channel for you to watch, so go ahead and watch some more and 
If not, I see you in the next episode of Wu Bar. Ciao!